but we know that the brain has the ability to memorize information. In education circles, sometimes that's not looked upon as being a very positive thing, nor is it looked upon as something that helps build critical thinking. I know better. And the reason I know better is when I was very, very small, I spent hours writing lyrics to songs. My mom and I would sit and we'd listen to a record player or a record on a record player over and over and over again. And by the time we got all the words written down, I knew that song. And I still know those songs today. And I was six. What does that tell me? Well, the memory model, it builds on the brain's natural ability to, to retain information, starting out with short-term memory, and then with practice, lots and lots of methods of uh, bodily kinesthetic activity and, and lots of uh, multi-sensory approaches, it will not forget this information. And so the memory model capitalizes upon that. And it, again, it, it leaves nothing to chance. We want to strategically place information in such a fun, innovative, exciting way that the brain just says, yeah, I like that. I'm going to remember it. And that's what we need. And they, they don't forget. Well, first of all, I've, I've said many times that Shirley English, it, it brings in so many teaching models that it helps us hit those students wherever they are in their, in their learning. Um, the memory model is especially effective in Shirley English through the, the use of jingles. It, at first, it's just fun. You're going to practice a, a sentence jingle and a noun jingle and a verb jingle and so forth and so on, but you do it in a, in a fun way. You do it repetitiously. You do it with the students. And what happens is, after a while, it begins to become internalized. And the student's brain will actually start to rehearse it even when it doesn't want to. And I've had parent after parent come to me and say, what are you teaching my kid? They, they won't shut up about it. And, I, and I, I keep telling them, well, actually, we don't want them to. We want their brain to constantly practice this, even when it's maybe subconscious, because that helps to lay it into that short-term, long-term phase. I think that... Um, the jingles, that, that's the, one of the best ways that we incorporate the memory model. The next thing that I think is re really important to talk about is the question and answer flow. It, you know, it, it definitely has, um, it changes and it transitions as the student goes through the program, but at first it's very, very predictable. The students are always answering who, what, when, where, why, and how. And when, when the brain is constantly asking that in a natural way anyway, it's always looking for that information, and it's created in the question and answer flow to happen strategically and logically, the children just don't forget it. It takes probably four weeks for most students to, to almost sound like an expert just learning the grammar. 